Hi all, welcome to this introductory session of the training on legal literacy of Texan data mining, international and cross-border issues. This is just a video to introduce myself. So I'm one of the two professors in the course. My name is Sean Flynn. I'm a professor at American University, Washington College of Law. And I teach courses on international intellectual property. And I run our public interest research project the program on information justice and intellectual property. Um, one of the particular reasons that I'm interested in, in this course is because we run um, a project participating as an observer in the World Intellectual Property Organization Standing Committee on Copyright and Related Rights. And that committee is considering the degree to which there should be minimum standards and cross-border rights for libraries, archives, museums, education, and particular to this group, research. And so one of the things we're looking at as observers is, is doing more research and sharing more stories about the potential needs for minimum standards and cross-border rights for text and data mining researchers. So I urge you to really consider that topic. What would be the possible utility of an international rule that would say, for instance, that legally created text and data mining materials, corpuses, databases, et cetera, could be shared across borders. What does the current law say on that now? And what might be the potential impact of a positive law in this area that required all countries to recognize rights in that space? So I'd love to hear more about um, that I will be showing you um, a particular tool worksheet that we'll be using uh, in this course uh, that you can fill in some of your answers to that question within the worksheet. And of course, it'll come up in our live discussion. Now, to find out um, more information on me and the program on information justice and intellectual property, I encourage you to visit our website. So it's www. Pigip, which is P-I-J-I-P dot org. And there you can find um, our working paper series where some of the materials that I will uh, reference in the course will be located and also information about our projects. And uh, in particular, I would encourage you to look at the project on the Global Expert Network on Copyright User Rights. And that's where our WIPO information is located. So uh, it's nice to virtually meet you in this setting. I look forward to meeting you live soon. And um, now we'll head into the rest of our course. Cheers.